Welcome to the TikToking Reviews, and I've got a lot in store for you today. I've got an awesome watch, but first, make sure you check me out at Steve Halleck on Instagram and subscribe to the channel down there. Comment if you like, tell your friends. I got a whole lot in store for this year, and as you can see, I'm working a lot of my production here. I'm gonna try a couple like multi-camera setups, try to get you guys really inside these watches and try to make the best videos that I can here. So I hope you like it. So today I've got a custom Kari Voodalainen Von Wheat. Now I've already reviewed a Von Wheat, which just means 28 in French. Uh, I've already reviewed one on my channel, but I've got this really cool custom ordered, custom dial, custom movement, piece, plus I really wanted to try out this new video setup, so why not take another look at this one here? And of course it's it's one of the best modern watches that there is. So Kari is one of the best watchmakers of the modern era. He's, you know, one of these very classic guys in the same vein of Roger Smith, Philippe Dufour, uh, and Kari Voodalainen, right? So he makes everything by hand, uh, or almost everything. He's uh, expertly, expertly finishes his movements, but also has become increasingly known for his dial work. And it's probably the best in the world right now at making really, really incredible dials. And this piece that you're about to see really showcases all of his skills. So, so let's get into a little bit of terminology. One thing that trips people up is there's a French word, guilloche, and then there's this word, engine turning. And they really mean the same thing basically. So I'm just gonna use engine turning because my French isn't very good. So I'm glad that we got that. So on this piece here, you've got a multi-dimensional engine turned main pattern, then a floral pattern, and it's all covered over in an incredible red enamel. Uh, and in fact, the entire dial is created out of silver and gold, which is really cool. But Without further ado, let's just jump into the piece here. I'm going to take a closer look down here. So here you can see immediately, this is not a subtle watch and definitely wouldn't take, you know, a watch expert to see how beautiful it is. You can, you can see it on first look. Uh, at the top you can see this very complicated, on my site I described it as almost M.C. Escher-esque pattern that sort of, uh, it's kind of trippy actually, as it catches the light, it sort of expands and contracts and changes what's light and dark. And then here you have a more common floral pattern, but it's just expertly done. I'll just let you watch it with the light here for a minute. It's in a rose gold case. Now out here, you've got a navy blue track with these kind of titanium white markers and that material is carried over here onto the hands with of course these amazing blued sections. And of course, handmade. That's the big deal with Kari, handmade. So let's check the back. Like I said, not only was this a custom dial but it was also custom ordered to have this frosted movement here so normally, Kari's would just be the brass and uh, you just have like Cote de Genève or some other finishing here. But this was custom ordered to be frosted like a classic pocket watch. It's actually a very difficult finish to achieve and it really highlights the polished bevels and you know this sort of interplay between these steel pieces and the frosted pieces there. Well, with a movement like this, I thought it would be cool to actually jump in and check it out on a totally macro scale. So, I got my macro camera here. Let's see if I can figure out how to make this work. All right, now we've got a closer look at this movement and you can really see the intricacies of the finish. Look at the bevel where those interior angles are. And black polish on the click, black polish on this big bridge. And now down here you'll see Kari's really cool double escapement. 
So you see those two escape wheels down there? I believe he's the only one using this double escape, and I'm not, I, I'd have to double check that, but it's definitely the kind of big innovation in his Von Wheat, other than all the handmade stuff, is when he introduced this, and it uh, supposedly gives better time-telling characteristics, as well as, of course, being more robust and just very cool. Obviously, the big feature of this movement is this huge balance wheel. It takes up almost half of the movement, and this giant bridge. You can see even the poising screw there. Very cool. This is really one that you just want to kind of swim around inside, so perfect piece to show off this macro rig here. Amazing. I'm glad we could take a look at that. It's pretty, pretty cool. I mean, you don't often get to see these at all, but to be able to really go at it with a loop or a macro lens shows you just how incredible this attention to detail of, you know, these tip, tip, top guys, of which Kari is at the very height of everything. Um, you know, it's really a cut above, and it's something that you can't find in a big brand watch, because they just don't have the talent and they don't have the time to be able to do something like this. So this is the really, really special stuff. And before I leave, I just want to show you how awesome this watch is on the wrist. So check this out. It's just beautiful. The teardrop lugs, the 40 millimeter case, it's not small, but it's not big. And the dial's just on fire. I mean, this watch would really stop people from across a room. There's no, hiding this, of course, but also it, it's, it's just classy, but eye-catching, and it's really everything that, you know, you could want in a kind of dressier watch. I might not take this one off today. So I hope you like this review. I'm really happy to get to share watches like this. This is the, you know, the top quality, the stuff that really gets me going, gets my juices flowing, and uh, makes this hobby interesting, and makes, you know, my job fun. So, happy to share this with you. I hope this camera setup worked out. Please let me know in the comments. I know you guys are, like, not, uh, not a shy bunch. There's definitely people on YouTube that are happy to rip me apart. Uh, if they so feel like it. So let me know how I'm doing. I'm gonna keep improving these. I'm really gonna put a lot of effort into my channel in, uh, in this new year. So please, uh, as I said, subscribe. That really helps. Um, comment, I like comments. I mean, try to be a little bit civil and nice, but comments are nice. Um, you can send me any questions or things that you'd like me to answer in other podcasts. You can do that down in the comments. And, uh, you know, tell your friends. I'm going to show you some cool watches, so stay tuned.